Which you guys got another video here for you. Don't make this PC building mistake. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, if you're looking to build your PC, then choosing the right parts is essential. Now, I see a lot of people making this mistake when it comes to buying an all-in-one closed-loop uh, CPU cooler. Let us take a look at this case here, this TechWare case. If you see here, it will tell you that you can put up to a 360 mil rad up the top of the computer case and also at the bottom. Now be very careful when looking at PC uh, cases online because they will tell you this and it is very vague. And when you go down and look at the description here of the case, there is no mention of what the full length of that radiator is going to be. It just tells you it's 360 millimeters. And that's because they are just telling you that there is free fans that are 120 millimeters uh, in size, and that comes to 360 millimeters. But if you go to the information, you would expect to see that there's some information about the length of radiators that are supported, and it can tell you basically all of that information here. But as you can see, it's not here. It just tells you the maximum length of GPU and some other information here. There's no information about the maximum length of radiators that is supported in the front or at the top. Now this is important because when it comes to buying an all-in-one closed loop system, you need to make sure that the radiator is gonna fit in either the top or at the front of the case. And you would have thought that manufacturers of cases will be putting this information on their websites. Unfortunately, a lot of case manufacturers don't give you this information and it is crucial when you come to picking a part. Now, the Arctic Liquid Freezer to 360 mil radiator is pretty big, as you can see here. Now, don't get confused by just looking at the fans. You need to take the information for the full length of the radiator itself. And if you go to the technical specifications here, you'll see that the radiator is actually a lot larger than 360 millimeters. And this can be said for a lot of coolers, not just Arctic. You can see here, this one is 398 millimeters long. So now that 360 millimeters has turned into 398 millimeters long. And that means you're gonna to have to find a case where this radiator will fit either up the top or at the front. And this can be very difficult when case manufacturers don't give you that crucial information. So you go ahead and buy these parts and then guess what's going to happen? It might not fit in the case that you purchase. And this is a problem I see a lot of uh, beginner builders uh, do. They'll go and watch some YouTube video and they will go and buy their own case and they'll buy a cooler uh, because they've watched a review on this particular cooler, which is a very good cooler by Arctic. It's called the Liquid Freezer 2 360 RGB version. But on this particular case, which is quite a large case, as you can see here, when I go to put it in, it's not fitting inside here. And the radiator length is actually 398 millimeters. It does fit in this case. I had to remove the RAM to get it in because I had high profile memory. But what the problem is here is the fan is touching the plastic around the IO shield here. So this is the case manufacturer's fault. This is not a problem for Arctic. Arctic have give you their full specifications for their radiator. It's down to the manufacturers that don't disclose this information and this can cause a lot of problems. So now there's no way of getting this radiator up the top of this case because it's touching on this plastic here. Another problem is you won't be able to get the CPU uh, cable into the motherboard and then to the uh, power supply itself. Another problem you've got to look out for when you're purchasing radiators or cases like this is where the front panel cables are that come down if they're in the front or whether they're on the side you have to make sure that they're not going to cause any problems with the radiator and you can see this is pretty much up to the end of the case here so this information would have been really useful if someone was purchasing this sort of combination when you build your pc and yet the case manufacturer is telling you you can fit a 360 mil rad up the top of this case, which is really sort of false information. If I tilt the top down here, you'll see 
the actual screw holes will not line up. You won't be able to get them along the runners here, and that's because it won't go back any further. It's as far as it's going to go back. Now, it does actually line up on the other side, but here you can't. Now, I could screw this in here, but it will be crooked, and then also I won't be able to get the CPU cable into the motherboard, so it's pointless trying to put it at the top here. Now, this may then mean that you will have to change your plans and then start thinking about putting it at the front. The problem is when you start thinking like this, is it's going to cause you more problems, especially uh, with this particular case, because this is a mesh fronted case and it does have uh, nice RGB fans on the front, as you can see here. And that means you're going to have to take all of these out and then use the fans on the radiator. And this particular radiator system, this 360 mil radiator with the fans, the cabling actually goes down at the actual tube in here. So you can rotate the fans around the other side, but it really is a faff and it's not easy to do. And it's going to take a fair bit of patience to get them onto the other side of the radiator. So bear that in mind if you're buying a radiator of this sort where the cables and uh, fans are already attached to the radiator and they run down the tubing. A lot of YouTubers don't seem to mention that part when reviewing the Arctic 360mm radiator. Now you can also see that I do have the tubing up the top and ideally you would want this on the bottom but I can't do that because this does have a basement which stops you having the tubing at the bottom which is better for the pump instead of having them at the top but it still be okay there because the pipes are above the pump now i do have the cabling set here there is one cable that needs to be addressed and i'll do that on off camera just need to remove the bottom fan and reroute that uh, cable there but it's all in and sometimes this is pretty common for builders that build uh, pcs they will have to make compromises and they will have to adapt their build on the fly just something like this and this is a typical scenario which you may have to uh, do with your particular build. So make sure you do your research and make sure that the actual radiator is going to fit in the case that you're looking to purchase. Uh, normally, if you buy a large case like this one, normally if it doesn't fit at the top, it will generally fit in the front. Unless you buy a super small case hoping to fit a 360 mil radiator in that case. And remember, because it says 240 or 360 doesn't necessarily mean it is that long. There is always a bit added on the end of each side of the radiator. So I wanted to make this video for you if you're new to building computers and picking parts. Sometimes asking questions about whether this part will fit in a certain case is always good. You can always find forums or Discord servers to ask people. Again, this is pretty common. Uh, and it does happen to even seasoned builders that have built many computers. It's just part of building PCs. You sometimes have to adapt on the fly and make changes to that build because something has not worked out the way you thought it did. But I just wish that case manufacturers would give you the information just like uh, Arctic have given their information on their website to make sure that you're purchasing the right product for your build. It wouldn't take much for case manufacturers to put that information on their website. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.